run these streets. Oh, oh, that's cool, man. I'm really trying to get into fitness, too, you know? Like, so you're running a marathon or what? No, 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 homie. You know what? Where are you from? Well, I mean, I was born in Chicago, but then I moved to Fresno when I was, like, five years old. And then, you know, I kind of hopped around and stuff, and then I moved here when I was, like, 17, I want to say. But me and my brother's birth certificate got mixed up, so, like, legally, I'm from Indiana. But don't tell anybody. No, fool. What? You're telling them your whole life story, fool. He's asking where you're from, homie. It doesn't mean where you were born and all that. He's asking me where I'm from. I know, but, like, pay attention more. You know, you're taking it too for real, fool. God. Nah, homie, I mean, do you bang, homie? Do you bang? Oh, where where do I bang? No. Uh, Chase. Chase? Yeah, fool, I tried banking with Wells Fargo, but their overdraft fees are, like, ridiculous, fool. And, like, Chase is cool for, like, people like me, you know? My credit score was low. Gen X is aging differently. I think it had something to do with our childhood. We were basically retired from childhood by the time we were 12. We were probably already smoking, and if we weren't smoking, we were getting ready to experiment with smoking and many, many other things. By the time we were six or seven, we were walking ourselves to school unsupervised, and as far as supervision went, we didn't have a whole lot of that growing up. We were kind of on our own. We ran the streets for hours, and nobody cared to look for us, and if they did look for you, you were going to get your ass beat when they found you. Parents wanted to have you, but they didn't want to see you. All the adults could have disappeared from the face of the earth and we wouldn't have cared. All we needed was our friends from the neighborhood, maybe a stray dog or two, a pocket knife, a lighter, a box of Cheez-Its or Pop-Tarts, and a can of soda, and we could survive a long time. We're like the Benjamin Buttons of the world. We're going backwards in age. Gen X will just keep pushing back against that envelope of old age. We refuse to grow up. We're Toys R Us kids. We do it with our I-don't-give-a-fuck attitude and just taking better care of ourselves. We plan to live for a very long time. Maybe that's the secret to youth. It's the I-don't-give-a-fuck attitude.